Winners never quit and quitters never win. This is a quote, I don't know by who, but I just don't agree with it. I think that sometimes we can be going through this challenge and through this challenge, we figure out that we no longer want that prize, that title, job, or person. I think that sometimes when we're going after what it is we think we want, we get closer to what it is we actually want. I think that sometimes quitting is the most courageous thing that we can do. Think about a bad relationship or a job that is simply sucking the life out of you. School teaches us that if we do not succeed in the exact way that is presented to us, then we are a failure or we get held back. But that's just not the case. Everybody can make their own path to a destination. The destination does not have just one way of getting there. And the destinations that we want are all different. So if you are happy, by all means, stay. But if there is any inclination that there might be something more for you, then this would be my advice. To learn everything that you can from the position that you are in and to not be afraid to quit. For this is just the stepping stone to getting you to what is actually meant for you. Find what it is that you don't wish to quit from. And don't make your goals materialistic or just one thing. For example, my goals, I know that I want to help people and I know that I want to step into my most authentic self. My goals are more like values, but this allows for my expression to materialize in the easiest way without any expectation of how that's going to come to me. Because sometimes we think that we want something, but when we get it, it just like, it doesn't hit the mark. So do we settle? Do we lower our expectations? No, a lot of the times people come into our life or experiences or opportunities come into our life to redirect us, to show us how it is we really feel about something. And it is up to us to follow our hearts because quitting is not the same as giving up. Quitting in my eyes is just a new beginning. So quit what feels wrong, but do not give up on what feels right. And you're going to make mistakes along this process. They're inevitable. And society really likes to reprimand us for this when I think sometimes we can learn the entire lesson from that one mistake. We don't need to keep going. If we could be going down a path that we've already learned from, we've sort of outgrown, and now we're ready to get to the next step. So I'm not saying quit because it's hard. I'm saying quit because you know that there is something better out there for you. Albert Einstein actually failed his entrance exam at 16 and he did quite poorly in school. In the beginning of his life, his father actually looked at him as a failure and he was selling insurance door to door before he ever became the renowned, renowned, renowned scientist that we now know him as. What if Albert Einstein never quit his sales job? What if anybody who's ever accomplished anything never quit what they knew was no longer meant for them. Quitting can be the beginning. Do not get stuck. Do not get held back in who you are meant to be. Let go of the things that are no longer for you anymore. Just quit.